This presentation analyzes the responses of participants at the Transportation Assets and Barriers workshop held in West Burlington on February 18th in a random sample survey sent to West Burlington residents. The information in the following slides aims to inform the West Burlington Visioning Committee and Design Team during the design process. We conducted community focus groups and sent a random sample survey to 338 West Burlington households. The quantitative data collected from the survey responses complement the qualitative information gathered at the focus groups. Different transportation users have different needs and priorities. Older adults want access to local services. Active recreationists want to be challenged while engaging in physical activity. Parents are concerned for the safety of their children. Mobility challenged individuals want smooth surfaces and safe traffic crossings. Youth want complete sidewalks and safe traffic crossings. We conducted focus groups with people from each of these different demographics to obtain a complete picture of the transportation system in West Burlington. All user types travel around West Burlington by walking and driving. Older adults, youth, parents, and active recreationists bike around town. Youth and parents enjoy riding their scooters around town. Older adults enjoy riding motorcycles, while parents use UTVs to get from place to place in West Burlington. Focus group participants were asked what they considered community assets. Pedestrian access and connectivity is important to residents. The wide and smooth sidewalks with curb cuts on Huston, Autumn, and Mount Pleasant streets, as well as the hospital trail are widely valued. Active adults, youth, and parents also appreciate the trees and shade that exists on the hospital campus, city trail, and at the parks. The local parks around West Burlington are popular among residents. Focus group participants appreciate the various amenities in the parks, such as the play equipment at Lairs Park, the pool and ball fields at West Burlington Park and Rickflex, and the walking paths at Pet Klein Park. However, youth and parents express difficulty getting to some of the parks because of limited sidewalks. During the focus groups, participants identified undesirable features in town. All groups expressed frustration with broken, narrow, or missing sidewalks throughout town. Limited trail connectivity was also a prominent issue among all groups. Heavy traffic, primarily along Mount Pleasant, Huston, West Burlington, Broadway, Division Street, and Agency Road, alongside school traffic congestion on Ramsey Street, was a common grievance amongst residents. Actives, youth, and parents spoke of various difficult pedestrian crossings throughout town, primarily along South Gear Avenue and Agency Road. Finally, focus group participants had the opportunity to tell us what changes they wanted in West Burlington. All groups desired a complete system of ADA-compliant sidewalks across town, especially with connections to the mall, the Recplex, and the cemetery. All groups also mentioned wanting increased trail connections, such as a trail loop within town and regionally to the Flint River Trail, among other locations. Older adults, youth, and parents would like more trail amenities like trash receptacles, water fountains, and benches, while actives, mobility challenged, and parents would like to see additional trees around town. In addition to focus groups, we distributed a random sample survey to 338 households. Understanding what types of improvements are important to residents gives the committee insight on how to prioritize projects. The information summarized here includes respondents' willingness to help, their enhancement priorities, preferred commuting, biking, and walking routes, and qualities they desire on their biking and trail routes. More than 38% of respondents indicated they were willing to help with the visioning process, whether it be volunteering time, money, or both. How do we get people to help? According to an ISC study of Iowa small towns in 2014, a common reason residents said they didn't become involved in community projects was that no one asked them. Others indicated that they didn't know how to become involved. These results show that the best way to get people involved in community projects is to simply ask them along with advertising opportunities through traditional and social media outlets. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, participants in West Burlington ranked providing more accessibility for seniors as the most valuable transportation enhancement. Other enhancements that address pedestrian mobility, safety, and health, such as better lighting for night use, safer routes to school, and better pedestrian connections are also considered important. Regarding the quality of the built environment, survey respondents also consider better neighborhood streetscapes as the most beneficial, followed by habitats for birds and pollinators, and enhanced seasonal beauty. Most survey respondents drive to important destinations such as the grocery store, post office, school, and church. 
More than 32% carpool or ride with someone else. Over 11% of participants said they walk, and 4.8% bike to their destinations. This map shows the commuting routes identified by 41 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the most frequently used routes being the thickest. The primary commuting corridor into and out of West Burlington is Highway 34. Many also travel on Mount Pleasant Street, West Burlington Avenue, West Agency Road, and North Gear Avenue. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants ranked the characteristics and features that factor into their choice of commuting route. Among West Burlington participants, time to destination was the most significant factor. Avoiding weather-related issues such as snow and ice is the second most important factor when determining commuting routes. This map shows the walking routes identified by 45 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the most frequently used as the thickest. Survey respondents reported that the most heavily traveled routes among walkers are RMC Street, particularly the blocks adjacent to the schools, Piston Street to the mall, and sections of Van Weiss Boulevard. Other popular routes include portions of Wheeler Street, Leffler Avenue, Kimberly Drive, and parts of West Burlington Avenue. Some people walk the trail along South Gear Avenue and Division Street and loop around the Rugplex, and some walkers enjoy the path around the lake on the hospital campus. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants rank the characteristics and features that improve their walking experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. West Burlington respondents consider conditions and elements as more important determiners of their walking routes. Other factors such as safety, low noise, wide sidewalks, and snow removal were the most significant to walkers, with the second most important influence being the quality of the sidewalk. This map shows the biking routes identified by 21 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the most frequently used as the thickest. Similar to walkers, cyclists most often ride on Huston Street from Ramsey Street to the Mall, Autumn Lane, West Van Weiss Boulevard, and West Burlington Avenue. People also bike on South Gear Avenue, Agency Road, Division Street, and Broadway Street. Some bikers take advantage of the bike lane on West Mount Pleasant Street, and some ride out of town on Washington Road. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, Survey participants rank the characteristics and features that improve their biking experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. West Burlington participants consider conditions and elements slightly more important than connections. Access to trails is the most important connection to survey respondents. In terms of conditions and elements, other factors, which were not identified by respondents, are most significant, followed by the presence of traffic control. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants rank the characteristics and features that improve the trail experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. Conditions and elements are more important to West Burlington trail users than connections. Access to natural areas is the most important connection among trail users. In terms of conditions and elements, well-kept surroundings are most important, followed by lighting and little vehicular traffic. Other factors, such as handicapped accessibility, consistent availability of restrooms, and safety are all desirable features. If you have any questions about this presentation on the community visioning process, contact the members of your local visioning committee or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. A complete set of assessment presentation boards can be found on the West Burlington webpage at www.communityvisioning.org slash west burlington.